good morning cake vlog fam happy holidays welcome back to the channel today you're just gonna keep me company while I do the dishes I know pretty odd right <laughs> but uh, remember in a previous post we prepped to make macarons we're gonna deal with the aftermath of that <laughs> we said we are gonna do teal and pink Stay tuned to see how they turned out. If you enjoyed this video guys, pause for a moment and hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you are new. I know a lot of you look at the videos but you're not subscribed. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Become a part of the Cake Vlog family. I just made a cake that I did recently. I'm just gonna have a piece of vanilla cake. The macarons have about 10 more minutes before they're ready. Place them in two batches, so the first batch should be ready in about 10 minutes, and the second batch about 20 minutes. So I'm just using some regular quick dishwashing liquid. I usually soak everything up, then I rinse it. So guys, if you did not see the video where we prepped to make those macarons, I'll have it linked in the description box below. I'm also going to link a video demonstrating how I make macarons. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, go ahead and check it out. Smells really good in here. The macarons have a really nice smell. It's like cotton candy. This reminds me of a story back when I was at my previous location. One of my customers came to collect macarons and as soon as she walked in, she stopped in her tracks and was like, wow, inside here smells like heaven. <laughs> so I guess that's another way to describe the smell. These are those containers that the cherries would usually come in. I got these cherries, I believe they came from Poland. If you look at the video when I baked the cake, you will see them filled with the cherries. I usually recycle them so I can get it to use. They're very handy for storing things in the refrigerator when you measure them. You can cover it because it comes with a cover. Do any of you recycle your containers as well or am I the only one? Let me know down in the comment section. By the way guys, how is the season shaping up for you so far? What do you guys plan on baking this year? Any cake and bread in mind? What's on the menu? So I'll do this in two batches. I'll rinse these out and start it with another batch. Five more minutes remaining on the timer. Hopefully I get this done just in time to take them out. And I'll show you what they look like. Question, do you guys soap your dishes and then rinse them off? Or do you soap and rinse as you go? Well, as you can see, I soap them up and then I rinse. I feel as I'm conserving much more water that way. Go ahead and hit the like button if you're enjoying this video. These are the reusable silicone piping bags that I love them. I got them off of Amazon. It's very easy to clean, big, so it holds a lot of one and it's strong because so far it hasn't got any holes or anything. I'll leave a link to the bags in the description box in case you're interested in buying them. Okay, so the timer went off. I'm not quite finished though because I have this to wash. But let me check them and see what's up. So in my previous video you would have heard me say that whenever I travel 
I like volunteering and doing different classes also. That's how I've gained a lot of my experience. So if you're interested in learning something and maybe you can't afford it at the moment, you can gain some hands-on experience through volunteering. Just go around and ask the different places if they need some extra hands and you might be lucky. I love this faucet. It's perfect for doing these dishes. It's perfect for me. So a lot of you have been reaching out to me asking what sort of treats I'll be making this Christmas. And to be honest, I have my hands full. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make any Christmas themed treats, but I'll try my best. Not making any promises, but I'll see what I can do. In the last post, I did a bake with me video. If you missed it, check it out. It's in preparation for a two-tier birthday cake that's going to be used for a photo shoot. I'm excited to show you the finished look, so stay tuned. Ensure you're subscribed to the channel so you'll be notified when I post. In another note, I understand that there has since been a spike in the number of persons infected with the COVID virus. So I want to encourage you guys to continue practicing proper hygiene, wear your mask and stay safe. Guys, so the macarons are finished baking. Once they were cooled, I removed them from the baking sheet and paired the shells together. To place an order with us, you can message me on my Instagram or Facebook page. Contact details are listed in the description box below. Don't forget guys, two weeks notice in advance. How many of you have ever tried making French macarons? Leave a comment below and let me know what was the experience like for you? Did you encounter any challenges? Not sure if you noticed, but some of them came out a bit misshaped. It seems like no matter how many times you make macarons, at some point, something goes wrong. Comment below if any of you can relate. So I paired them together and they're now going to be placed in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. Alright guys, so we have come to the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoy spending the time with me doing the dishes and seeing how the macarons turned out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. I always like hearing from you guys and interacting with you. If you enjoy this content guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. As usual, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, live your dreams and create the life that you want for yourself. Until next time, bye guys. Happy holidays and see you in the next video.